what do we have here? We got a box um, that came from a trade, an insane trade. A weird trade. I traded 26, 26 knives for these three. And most of the knives I traded were fairly low end budgets, like in the like if I was to sell them, I'd sell them for 25 bucks, you know, in that kind of range. But that's a lot of knives. Um, so let's see if it was worth it, because I don't even know. Let's use one of the knives that the thieves didn't get when they were stealing my six knives out of my bags in the Dominican Republic. We'll use this lovely QSP hornbill. All right, let's see what we got here. We got an interior package that I cut into. Hopefully I didn't... No, it doesn't look like I hurt anything. Okay. I think it feels like knives in a couple of boxes. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got um, Spider Co. Let's do the Spider Co first. I don't remember what it was. I think it's a. Oh, it feels like maybe there's two knives in here. Okay, maybe we won't do that one. Let's do this one. What the heck is this one? Ooh, a Protech. Maybe we'll save that one for last. Yeah, we'll save that one for last. So we'll push that off to the side. All right, we'll do these two. Whatever's in the spider coat. I think it's two knives. Ooh, dude. You put them in, up against each other? Thanks. Okay. All right, man. That's not the coolest thing. Okay. All right, so this little guy is called a mutineer. It's titanium. A little beat up. Um, This guy... A smoker? Yeah, he's a smoker, so everything smells like smoke. So that's cool. Let's see, I think it's S35. Let's see, how's the action on this little mutineer? Needs a little help, maybe. Maybe needs to just be cleaned. Feels dirty. Okay, so we'll get this guy cleaned up. Wow, that is crap action. Huh, man. I'm not feeling great about my trade <laughs> at the moment. Uh, it's okay. All right, we'll, we'll pretty it up, though. We'll get it looking nice. Boy, that scale might look nice. Dyed black. Lock access is good, but man, it is not drop shutting. Maybe it's just too tight. Let's um get a T8. Let's see if it's maybe just too tight. Okay, that's loose a little bit. Okay, that's getting there. It's still a little loose. Okay, that's getting close. Okay, yeah, that's definitely better. Yeah, I think it was too tight. It needs to be cleaned and oiled, I'm sure. Let's see, is that still loose? No, that's good. That's right about where it needs to be. Probably needs to be locked tight so it doesn't get uh, loose on us or or tighter. Maybe it gets tight. This It would be crazy if this is the only knife in the world that gets tight when it uh, in use instead of looser like every other knife does. It's weird. It's kind of drop shutty from here, but not from when it's all the way open. Like, huh. Yeah, it probably just needs to be cleaned out. But I like the little blade shape. It's very cool. I don't really, I'm not really a lanyard guy. Especially a boring black nothing lanyard. Let's use the uh, uh, corn bill and get that off of there. Trashola. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it might make a nice little fifth pocket knife. Maybe do a little anno on the side or something. I don't know. We'll see. It's neat, though. A little smaller than I thought it was going to be, too. That's what she said. All right, so we got that guy. And then we got... Is this a PM... I thought this was a PM3. I think this is a PM2. I thought for sure he said PM3. PM2. Yeah, okay. So it's PM2, not a PM3. Interesting, because it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. I was thinking PM3s are a little smaller, like a little closer to that size, or at least maybe somewhere in between. Boy, that action is a little gritty. The scales are interesting. Um, I think it's G10. Maybe it's micarta. I don't know. Clip looks kind of trash, kind of scratched up and kind of ugly. So we'll either fix that up or just get rid of it and get an aftermarket scale. But, yeah, okay. I definitely like the, the black look of it. Oh, blade's pretty sharp. Let's see. I didn't try that one to see if it was a 
let's let's use this uh, theft warrant. Okay, okay, it's got a couple hiccups in it, but pretty sharp though. What's the steel? 20 CV. That's nice steel, man. Very nice. I gotta get used to reaching up for that uh, for that little bugger right there. I'm not used to the uh, compression lock. Man, I gotta get in there and see what the hell a compression lock even is. I don't even know what the hell that is. How does it work? How does it work even? Is that uh, aftermarket? I think it is. I don't think they come with a backspacer, do they? I'll check and see. We'll see if this is a aftermarket backspacer. Okay. Yeah, I don't hate it, man. We'll find out what these scales are. I think micarta. They look kind of micarta-ish. They're interesting. Kind of have a very neat uh, look to them. Kind of antique -y. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think his he valued it at 200 I think maybe he... Well, no. Yeah, valued it at 200 I think he overvalued it a little bit. <laughs> I think it's maybe $120, $130 knife. But you know what? It's nice. It's a U.S.-made knife um, from Golden, Colorado. Maybe I'll get some freaky cool scales for it. Boy, some black frag scales would look great with that. So, so far, I think I would value this one at, I don't know, 100 and... 110, 120, and maybe 150 on this one. It does have some neat scales, and it's 20 CV. So 150, 120. All right, so that, that's a generous, I think, uh, assessment. Maybe a little more on the Spyderco. Maybe closer to 200. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think. When we get it all figured out, we'll figure out if I got hosed or not. Doesn't matter, though, because I traded a bunch of budgets for some nicer, higher-end knives. I think I'm going to like this one as a nice little fifth pocket knife once um, we get the uh, dirt out of it and the smoke. You just wash the scale really good before I dye it, and then it won't smell like smoke anymore. Does this one smell like smoke? A little bit, yeah. All right. And, obviously, from this lovely background, Halloween is coming up. Hopefully I'll get some kind of Halloween knife to uh, review. I don't know. We'll see. Have a nice day.